I'm only 69. My health can come back and everything, everything is here for that purpose. This place has everything I want and more. So Lang's really reached out to me, I would say more than I reached out to them. So that's how I became more involved and, uh, and it, was, it was really great. I don't know what I would have done without their help back then. We feel the needs of the community are best met by the community directing what should happen here, what partners should be here, what research should take place, what programs should uh, happen, how we reduce barriers to access, how we make it welcoming and friendly for people to feel that this is a place they belong. And that was the DNA of Langs from day one, is about building relationships with this community, providing them access to the services that they need, and thinking about providing services in a different way to meet their needs. So it's hard to believe that this is where it all began at Langs. Even when we occupied the townhouse, we saw agencies that said, you're reaching people we're not reaching in our traditional agencies. Can we come and provide a program and service on site? So that evolution did occur over many, many years and with the hard work of community residents uh, leading the way, they um, created this building that we're in today called the Hub at 1145. We all need new faces that we don't know. So I began my career here as a youth worker. Uh, we were in a townhouse at the time. It's a very grassroots organization. Uh, there wasn't a lot of structure. It was pretty new. It was very innovative. It was different than anyone else was doing at the time. And so we had to figure things out. And it's been achievements of many, many people. Volunteers on the board, an incredible staff team. I truly think a pivotal moment in our history is when we became a community health center um, in 1995. That really was a turning point point for us to be able to do the kind of work that we've done. That's where we'll go. Hi, how are you? For some patients, we're able to cluster appointments in an afternoon or in a day so that instead of, you know, spending money on bus tickets five days in a row, they can come for one visit here, spend a few hours, and then they've seen their medical provider, a diabetes provider, they've maybe seen a social worker, um, and whatever other resources they need. It's, it's easier to access for the patients, and I think that the easier we make healthcare to access, the better healthcare will be for patients because they are more likely to be able to follow through. And I think it's less daunting. You know, when you have to go to a number of different uh, services or specialists, you might have to go all around town to, to do that. But to be able to walk in one space, to be able to see two or three people all at once, uh, it's a great benefit to people. Hi, Teresa. Ginger came to me with a lot of stress around kind of just caregiver stress and uh, feeling a little isolated. She was new in the community. And we had the opportunity together to work on some of her goals around getting to know uh, others in the community, feeling less isolated, feeling less stressed. She hadn't actually engaged with the Alzheimer's Society before. So I said, well, let's just walk down and see if someone's there. Uh, and through some of those connections, she was able to connect directly with a social worker at the Alzheimer's Society who knew a whole lot more about dementia and Alzheimer's, uh, who was then able to connect her to the support groups available to Ginger specifically, uh, and then to other supports for Ginger's husband. So one of the benefits for the society being a partner here is that I can help connect people and I can help alleviate that stress and I can help with that continuum of care and it's right here in our building. And they, they seem to want it, they involve not just you, it's wonderful how they involve the whole family. Yeah, it's like a sense of community. She knows that I'm here, that I'm part of her team. Uh, with her doctor, and it allows her to uh, to quickly, you know, confidently come back and ask for support when she needs it. When I started coming here, there's so much to do, and, and so many people I knew, uh, I wasn't scared to come here and, and think, well, I'm going to try the track, or, you know, and everyone's saying, hi, Mike, and oh, I know, I haven't seen you in a while. It's just so welcoming. Wow, I got, this is a good thing and I'm not leaving it. We built things like a gymnasium and a walking track. If we're truly going to take the social determinants of health seriously, we need to think differently. 
and I think the nice thing about um, a place like Langs is people consider this, especially someone like Ginger who uses you know multiple services. When I say we're running a program at Langs, oh, oh Langs, okay, yeah, the hub, I know where that is, and it's a safe kind of familiar environment which makes it um, easier for people I think to access and I think it really encourages people to continue to use services. When we did an evaluation of the hub, 82% of individuals that came through the door that participated in that process said they met a new friend, they felt connected to the community. 72% said they used a service for the first time that they didn't even know existed. So those are the ways uh, this hub has an impact that's different than some other models across the province. You know, partnerships just don't happen. We have to be thoughtful and intentional about that work. I, anybody could be co-located in a building, but for people to be truly integrated and collaborative, you have to build that relationship. It was a win-win situation for both the city to have a facility and to provide the funding uh, so that the facility could actually be built. Well, we're currently expanding uh, by about 8,200 square feet, and we have 17 more agencies that want to move in. On the bottom floor, there's going to be a variety of rehabilitation services for people with physical challenges. And on the top floor, we're moving our team in. And so that makes room for the 17 new community partners that want to be part of the hub. Then we've had 65 different municipalities come and visit this hub over the past two years to say, how can we replicate this in our community? And we've had other visitors across the province, across the nation and beyond. That's how we're sharing our knowledge and our expertise in the hub world. That's where we'll go.